Hey y'all, this is the Multifaceted Mom, aka Latoya, and I am back with another video. So, we are not in my normal space. I just wanted to do an impromptu video because it's been really heavy on my mind. As y'all see in my YouTube short, I got a new Bible, um, and I am also making some, like, scriptures to put in a jar because... I am in a season where I feel like this season is not fruitful, but I listened to a sermon or really just a YouTube video um, with the preacher Priscilla, and she pretty much talked about um, every season is not going to look the same, and you have to trust God that every season has its purpose and enjoy the purpose that, or really... Um, understand the purpose that every season serves and in my last therapy session y'all my therapist pretty much I've been in therapy for the last like five years right um but I've been with my specific therapist for the last two for the last almost two years uh, one and a half years right and while I have come so far in boundary setting, knowing who I am, not needing uh, external validation, something that is really holding me back um, from reaching my full potential is really feeling my feelings, feeling, feeling and sitting in my feelings. Um, and I talked about this a little on TikTok, but the thing is, for me... Um, in this season, I am so used to producing and getting an outcome and experiencing that accomplishment um, in real time. But that this whole, you know, producing or really not producing how I want to produce it, um, and not getting the results that I want to. I feel like my life and the things that I want is literally on the other side of something. And I've been thinking this whole time that what I want is on the other side of my degree that I'm about to get. But what if it's actually on the other side of this dark tunnel that I'm going to have to go through in order to experience the greatness that God has for me? And... That is a very uncomfortable thought for me because the last time I really let myself feel um, sadness, anger, um, and grief was when I had my first miscarriage. And that took me to a very dark place, where <laughs> a very dark place. I was curled up in a ball for weeks and crying and crying and crying. Um, and then I went into high-functioning depression where I started... To I got in grad school, I, um, my first grad school degree program, I started traveling, I started doing all the things because I also would have been laid off from my first job like a month after. So it was just something on top of the other, um, that I had been experiencing. And when I tell you emotionally, I was very messed up. And I say all of this to say, is it anybody like me who you are in this season where you feel like, you know, nothing is prospering and you just feel really stuck, but you feel like something is holding you back? Um, I wonder if you are holding you back. Like, if your fear to trust God to see you through the darkness um, and bring you to the light is holding you back. Because I thought that moving to Texas um, was going to, was kind of like the ending of a dark season for me. It was the ending of a, you know, feeling stagnant. It was the ending of feeling, you know, uh, defeated, unsafe. But the thing is, maybe Texas was just the beginning of where I'm actually supposed to be. While I put myself in a safe environment to, you know, mentally and spiritually and physically flourish, I might be stopping myself from emotionally flourishing because I'm so afraid to actually now do the actual healing work that it takes to 
get to the other side. So while I can preach on here, you know, to feel your feelings, feel your anger, um, anger is okay, sadness is okay, I would be a hypocrite because at the end of the day, I always choose happiness. Um, I choose happiness because it's the easiest emotion to feel. Um, if I feel myself going down a negative tunnel or um, a a sadness, um a sadness path i immediately distract myself um i can go on a computer future think i can plan for my business that i plan to launch i can look at debt free videos videos that uplift my spirit in that time and my therapist said you know while distractions are good if you're stopping yourself from even letting the emotion out and you're distracting yourself from actually getting through the emotion and letting it pass through, you are not actually giving yourself the liberation that you need. So I'm just wondering, is there anybody out here who, you know, feels like, you know, something is stopping you from really reaching your potential? Because I'm almost wondering the places that I see God taking me is so, it's just so high. Um, I see myself talking on stage and helping women and helping people at a granular level. But at the same time, I have this like little girl inside of me that's like, babe, you haven't even taken care of me. You haven't even nurtured the little girl inside of you in order to, you know, reach that new level. Um, so I ended up making a decision a couple of days ago that I am going to intentionally heal. Um, and it's one thing to heal by, you know, crying about certain events that happened. Yes, I cried about my divorce. Yes, I cried um, about, you know, I really was in survival mode, to be honest, when it was when it came to leaving uh, the situation and when it came to, um, you know, when I got laid off. I went into solution mode, but I never grieved the job. I never grieved the fact that, you know, my marriage ended. I was honestly feeling like marriage, my marriage personally, was like just this trap um, and like this jail cell. But, you know, I never went through, that can be true for me, but I never went through the sadness process, the depression process, the anger, the why, you know, the bargaining uh, part of grief. I never really felt the sadness for certain things that happened to me as a teenager or a child because, I mean, let's be real, as, you know, a black woman, you rarely have permission to even feel your feelings. It's about, and not to mention being a single mom or a mom, period, you don't have the privilege often to sit and soak and feel your feelings and a lot of times that is actually um correlated or that's actually associated with being weak with being um you know a not fit mom a not you know like get over it um and the thing is I'm a very highly sensitive person but I think I trick myself into feeling like I'm not as sensitive as I really am because I don't give myself permission to feel. Um, and because I never gave, I never had the permission to feel my feelings, um, I often seek it from other people. And you're not going to get permission to feel your feelings from other people. Um, you're not going to get the validation from other people. You have to go on a journey alone um, to really process every single thing that you've been through. Um, and this could be dating back for me from when I was 13 years old. Um, I really, and I might not carry those things as heavily, but it still is a part of me that I need to release it. Um, so I'm going to be going on a healing journey. You guys, very intentional healing journey of feeling my feelings. I'm going to call it my sad girl era because I am going to let myself be sad. I am, I'm not going to distract myself. Yes, I am going to still get things done, but I really want to be intentional about going down this journey. Um, and I did write scriptures down because 
this is now a chance for me to get closer with God. And if you are afraid of going down this healing journey, going down that dark path, if you find yourself, you know, using ambitions and goals and accomplishments to distract yourself from um, really going through the healing journey, because you can experience happiness because, I, you know, you moved to Texas, you relocated, you did this boss ass shit. But have you experienced, you know, letting letting that load be lighter by actually feeling those emotions um by the shit that you went through in your previous city by the shit that you went through in your previous job or relationship that you left um and this is going to give us the opportunity to let god do his work god is a healer he is a provider he is close to the broken hearted but how can you let God really heal you if you haven't even went through the human experience of feeling those emotions. So then God can do his supernatural, uh, use his supernatural powers to then heal you. Like we're not even allowing God to show up because we aren't even opening that door. Um, so I'm going to open the door and I'm going to let it out. And I, I know he can handle it, but you know, this is, an opportunity for growth and i'm excited for what's on the other side but that's all this was a very random video and i'm just gonna go ahead and post it because maybe it can help you all like anybody that's like me um who is in a healing journey um or at the end you know comment below let me know how it's going let me know you know how you are handling it that's all. See you.